So Nathan, let's move on to then what you've experienced taking actually two of the most common drugs we use now in CLO, in, in your case in combination, a brute nib that targets that BTK, the Bruton styrosine kinase, and the other um, uh, pathway, the BCL2, the, the protein that blocks the cells from dying, that's where venetoclax works. You're taking both of them. What have you experienced uh, taking those medications? Was it hard? You got the drugs on a clinical trial, so cost was not an issue. So I started a brute nib around January of 2017. My white count was about 170,000. Uh, I actually tolerated it very well initially. I had a couple very minor, some GI difficulty. Um, other than that, it re really, I tolerated it very well. Let me ask you, did what happened to your white count immediately after you started it? Do you notice any change? Did it go get better right away? So mine actually went down, which I think about a third of the patients have. I didn't have bulky disease, so my spleen, while enlarged, wasn't terribly enlarged, and my, my lymph nodes weren't. They were enlarged again, but not terribly enlarged. So you didn't have it go up like some patients no. do that, that's expected? Okay. So I was having the terrible hives. Like I couldn't go anywhere without bringing Benadryl with me every day. I started the Abrutinib, and I think I had a mild case of the hives like the second day, and by the third day, the, the hives were gone completely. Um, and they have not returned since. Uh, I did a brute nib for, I think, three or four months. And then um, my white counts, I want to say I went from 180 to 40 the next month, and then down to, say, the 20s. It, it rapidly declined. So when I started the venetoclax, I think, like I said, uh, month four, I was in the 20, 14 to 20 range. Uh, I started the venetoclax, and I didn't notice um, any real um, overt side effects from adding the venetoclax. Um, Did you uh, just start taking it at home, the venetoclax? No, I had, I had to come in. At that point, they were still working out the um, tumor lysis syndrome issues. So let me stop you there. Ian, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. I mean, the, the venetoclax is a fantastic drug, but it has a side effect that um, that it, in some patients it causes sudden killing of all the lymphocytes at once. And while this may seem like an attractive thing, killing leukemia, um, it, the, the side effect is that it can release potassium, uric acid, and other electrolytes, and there can be damage to the kidneys or arrhythmias. And so that, that can be a, a dangerous side effect. But we've learned how to give this drug very safely by not giving it all at once, but marching up on the dose weekly um, until we get to the targeted targeted dose and through this um, and with careful monitoring of the blood um, it can be safely given to, to patients the vast majority of the patients can be given on an outpatient basis okay Nathan so I, I I went in I started the venetoclax they you know checked my blood I believe like eight hours later um, and uh, unfortunately again my disease was a little bit weirder than or atypical or non non-typical um, usually you'll have problems with like potassium and my actually my phosphorus went up so I spent the night in the hospital to take care of that um, and after that I, I had no issues at all with the ramp up of the venetoclax I took both um, I I believe I took that for eight or nine months uh, they rechecked everything uh, they did a bone marrow biopsy for MRD negativity um, and that was the why in the uh, trial I was in I came back MRD negative, so I was removed from venetoclax, and then I was either put in a placebo group or a group that continued the abrutinib. Uh, it's blind, so I'm not officially aware of what I'm taking now. Um, but so you're taking abrutinib still? Or a placebo. Or a placebo, and? I personally believe I'm still on it because I still have a little bit of bleeding issues. Nothing horrible, but... Interesting. So... Um, yeah, uh, sometimes the side effects can tell you. But let me ask you an important question. I remember this all started during your move. You just felt wiped out. And a lot of times my patients who are taking even these chronic medications that target different things still feel fatigue. What happened to yours? I would say my fatigue is better. However, um, fatigue is also a side effect of a Um I feel better than I, than I did pre-treatment. Um, but honestly, I didn't, for, for normal everyday life, I didn't feel horrible. It was, it was more if I had to, you know, pick up and move something heavy is where I, it really was affecting me pre-treatment. Um, but now, 
now I, I feel fine and I, you know, I can work out and not feel overly tired. Have you returned to work? Yes.